कथम धर्म स्थापन नरो वर्तेत भारत किम स्वीधर्म्य सनातन हाउ शुड अ पर्सन हू वॉन्ट्स टू प्रैक्टिस धर्म बेहेव वॉट इज इटर्नल धर्म दीज आर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन्स दैट युधिष्ठिर आस्क्स भीष्म इन द शांति पर्वन ऑफ द महाभारत इंडीड Dharma has been a pervasive concept in Hindu thought and in Indian philosophy generally during the time of the Rigveda and in every subsequent period right up to the present primarily an ethical concept it is also an ontological concept in some branches of philosophy in this video i will provide a rapid walk through the history of the term dharma over the last few millennia In later videos I will drill down into how the concept of dharma has been expressed debated and problematized in works of dharma shastra literature philosophy art and so on The concept of dharma is of course already present in the Rigveda where it appears at least 63 times it has a sense of a foundation in two related senses firstly dharma may refer to a physical or metaphysical foundation for the entire universe secondly dharma may be a normative foundation of divine or supernatural authority for the moral social and ritual order of society it concerns our obligations before the gods whether that is to engage in ritual activity or to engage in moral behavior with respect to each other in this latter sense we encounter dharma in verses such as the following mitra varana vanta ut dharma vanta marut vanta jaritur gachato havam you too na satyas come to the singer's call accompanied by mitra and varuna accompanied by dharma accompanied by the maruts dharma is here an ethical concept as are the other deities present in this verse as professor paul tima explains by invoking the na satyas the poet has a more general concept of ethical establishment lawfulness dharma to the divinized concept contract treaty mitra and true speech varuna and instead of naming indra himself speaks of indra's companions in battle the maruts this normative concept of dharma in the rigveda is closely related to the older concept of ruta from which it represents a natural evolution as dr rachna bhangalkar explains drawing from the root word ruta dharma in the rigveda meant both religious rituals and something that nourished and sustained everything else ruta represented the natural order of the cosmos where everything in the universe follows a specific course it also meant a moral order which includes the results of following the path of truth thus ruta as a concept included both physical and moral harmony gradually the term ruta was replaced by the exclusive use of the word dharma which then encompassed what ruta represented finally dharma became ideal conduct that had to be followed for human beings to become spiritually perfect the figure of rama in the ramayana exemplifies such an ideal of human behavior at least according to what we are told in the sahitya darpana by contrast however the concept of dharma in the mahabharata takes on a 
a more strange and disturbing aspect. Thus, as Dr. Bhankarkar also explains, Dharma in the Mahabharata is constantly problematized and deconstructed, exposing the unavoidable turbulence of moral life. A great example of this is the well-known Game of Dice episode in the Mabharata, where Yudhishthira gambles and loses to the Kauravas, first all the wealth of the five Pandava brothers, then even their own lives and that of their single wife, Draupadi. The episode leads to an attempt by Dushasana to unclothe Draupadi only thwarted by a miraculous intervention brought about by Krishna. Draupadi is reclothed as fast as Dushasana unclothes her, as illustrated in this painting by the famous 18th century artist Nain Suk. The discussion that is provoked by Draupadi when this game reaches its conclusion revolves around the concept of dharma and whether or not Dharma has been transgressed. Time and again in this discussion, these speakers remind us Dharma is subtle and not easily formulated in terms of rules and laws. Nevertheless, we are told, we have an overriding duty to engage in careful moral deliberation and discussion to exercise our moral judgment to our best ability and to speak out about what is right without fear or favour. Indeed, the many discussions of dharma in the Mahabharata are rich and sophisticated and go far beyond simplistic ideas about some kind of supernatural carrot and stick mechanism. Thus, Professor Emily Hudson explains, the epic's answer to the problem of suffering is not the direct or literal kind of answer that conceptual categories such as karma or fate would provide. Instead, the text's strategies of rupture create a cognitive space in the sensitive reader or spectator where a, sense, where a revelation of the tragic structure of existence may take place. The epic's aesthetic of suffering is attempting to reorient the sensitive reader or receiver towards a notion of dharma that is divested of the idea of rewards. Heaven is the ultimate reward according to the logic of dharma in the first sense. As well as stripped of the notion that dharma would or could provide protection from suffering. The concept of dharma was a central concept in the dharma sutras and dharma shastras too. It is true that most of the details of these texts concern the ritual and religious duties of brahmins as well as the social duties of various castes. Nevertheless, there is an awareness of an overarching ethical framework too. As Professor P. V. Kane explains regarding the Dharma Shastras, in the scale of values, mere performance of sacrifices and purificatory and other religious ceremonies ranked, according to Gautama and other writers, very low, and the highest value attached to the moral qualities of the soul. There is always insistence on the necessity to satisfy the inner man, Antara Purusha, or conscience. Dharma also continued to be a key term during the period of the philosophical systems. The Vaisheshika Sutra begins with the words, So now Dharma will be explained that due to which true knowledge and liberation are obtained, is dharma. The sacred tradition is authoritative because it expresses that. 
in later works of the Nyaya and Vaisheshika philosophical systems. Dharma is increasingly used as a technical term of art, meaning any of the various abstract properties everything has, which makes it that type of thing, or indeed that particular thing. By contrast, the Mimamsa Sutra defines Dharma as Dharma has the defining characteristic of guiding actions. For the Mimamsa philosophers, the injunctions of the Veda provide a paradigm of statements that prompt actions that are aligned with Dharma. The concept of Dharma has always been symbolized by the Dharma Chakra or Wheel of Dharma used in Hinduism and Buddhism to represent sovereignty, dharma and samsara phenomenal existence. As such, it is not surprising that it was used by the Buddhist king Ashoka as a symbol of his rule, perhaps drawing on its resonance more specifically as the wheel of the teaching of the Buddha. The wheel became significant in a quite different form during the Indian independence struggle in the shape of the spinning wheel when Mahatma Gandhi made spinning a vehicle of India's economic self-assertion. Significantly, Gandhi compared the spinning wheel to the Sudarshan Chakra and the Kamal Henu rather than just the Dharma Chakra. Indeed, the flag of the Indian National Congress, a precursor to the modern Indian flag, featured the spinning wheel or charkha as its centerpiece, and this is certainly one dimension of the symbolism present in the modern flag, which also has the symbolism of a dharma chakra. Some of the questions about dharma posed by Yudhishthira in the Mahabharata were quoted at the start of this video. We may end with a section of Bhishma's response. This type of question is very difficult to answer. It is difficult to explicate by logic. It is discerned as follows. Dharma was propounded for the dignity of living beings. What is certain is that dharma is anything connected with non-violence. Dharma was propounded for non-violence among living beings. It is called dharma because it supports. All creatures are maintained by dharma. What is certain is that dharma is anything connected with giving support.